Rose Hill, it's a great day out. So everyone always says you have to come to Shiz Bai. And wow, I wasn't actually expecting all this. I thought it would just be like a truck. So here we go, he's putting everything on. Yes. Oh wow. And this is the famous classic Dalpuri from Shiz Bai. Awesome, thank you. Chanapuri. And a sumisa. And try one of your gato pima. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, you have juice. Thank you so much. What's really cool about Shares by not just the parking, which is awesome. And this great new location. Oh, okay, so I'm putting so loads of stuff classic in. Classic double. Oh, flaky. Oh, wow. That's a layer already. And uh, it's got the beans and all sorts of other things as well. Feels really soft and super hot and fresh. Because it looks oh. like they're cooking it right behind yeah, you. Yeah, my mouth is actually watering. This is where they're making the doll please. Incredible. These must already have the doll inside them. Someone must be stuffing them somewhere. Maybe over here. Look at how many they're cooking at once. It's just crazy here. Look at them puffing up. That's why they taste it so fresh because they literally are being cooked, packed, and then on their way. Oh, look, it's a bean curry. This is actually for the roti and this the. This is the chef. Oh, this is the chef. Yeah, the chef. This is the chef. <laughs> I've been waiting so long for this because it's, it's on the other side of Rose Hill, so we never really come down this side. No, we don't. But I've, I've, we've heard so much people keep asking, you gotta go to Shares Bar, you gotta go to Shares Bar, they make the best old free. Well, we get to find out now. Seems flaky enough, and it's really stuffed. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, see, that's what you're looking for. That flaky doll. Got some Aluda. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good Aluda. And we also got the tamarind juice, of course. Yeah, they make it, yeah. There's tons of filling, so Ricky's doing a dalpuri and dip. Our vlogging has been interrupted. <laughs> we can't film with the cars running. It makes too much noise. Well, that was fun waiting for the car to leave. And the guy came for a big order. Look at that. Oh, wow. Stuffed chana puri. Uh huh. Mm -mm. Mm. It's um, tomatoey, and the bread is like super yeasty. This is great. I love this. Gato Pima. Traditional Gato Pima, but they looked really nice. Oh, and look at it. Yeah, you see? It's like got that proper nice cakey what what. Oh, sorry. Mm. <laughs> is it a good one? Really good. So soft and yummy and juicy inside, actually, with that crispy outside. Try some. Love to. Oh, nice crunch on the outside. Mm-hmm. Fine, approved. <laughs> approved. <laughs> I get to try the smoothie, but Ricky ate all of the, the yummy... The chutney. <laughs> the chutney. Really good smoothie. Mm, I'm thoroughly impressed. The Gatsby is delicious. Everything here has been good. Yeah. There are just so many people here queuing. Man, they are so busy. How awesome is this clock? I'm <laughs> TikTok. That, it's an anti clock, it is so cool. This is the roti station. So they're making the rotis here, rolling them out, and then cooking them over here. Look at how many they're doing, it's just ongoing. It's amazing, I've never seen anything like this. I just bought it something. They've actually got a toilet as well. Wow, she's by. I suggest stopping here as your first stop in Rose Hill. They've got parking, they've got toilets, and they've got fantastic Dolpuris and mm -hmm. Gato Pima and just everything they do looks fantastic. Rose Hill, most of the streets actually have names. It's no, kind of cool. Be English names. Our destination is on the right. Let's park somewhere. If you like biting the heads off little fishies, <laughs> and who doesn't want to, we got the perfect place for you. Teyaki treats! It's awesome! It's so much fun! Let me show you! Teyaki! This is the savoury one and you get sweet ones 
lots of different options and sauces. I, I like knew nothing about this. And how cool is this shop? It is like we're in Japan eating Japanese street food. Amazing, I can't wait. And this is the only one in Mauritius. Takpo Taiyaki. So they start with a batter and this, and this custom fish shaped, would you believe? Wow. Then you add the vegetable. Vegetables going in. It should be healthy too. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And the squid. And squid. We add more butter. And we add a little oh. bit. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, sneak peek. They take about five to eight minutes to cook. And like a proper Japanese place, this place is so organized and so clean. In a sweet, because the other one's a savory. Sweet, yes, sweet savory. But the batter's the same? Or you have a no. sweet batter and a savory batter? This one is a sweet. Oh, yeah. oh, this so is So you like add the matcha, yes. Matcha, green tea. And then you flip. Love it. Woo. Set the timer. Set the timer. Here's the countdown. Ta -da, ta -da. Here. Oh, look at those. They yeah. smell incredible. Bit of mayonnaise. Oh, the little fishies are getting pretty. Oh, what's that one? This one is a teriyaki sauce. Bonita flake. Bonita flake. Oh wow, that smells unbelievable. Oh, look at that. Look at this. They move. <laughs> it's alive, right? Bonita flakes. I'm just going to try one. Oh, they're really light. Mm -hmm. Weirdly, I'm going to say it's like biltong. Serious? But it's fish. Did Bite its head off. <laughs> Sorry, You've little fish. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Inside. Yummy. It's like that. It's so soft and light. Big piece of squid. I think it's that. Um, it's this the teriyaki sauce. It makes a bit of sweet. Mm. Teriyaki mm. sauce. Mm. The stuff is wonderful and it's still moving. <laughs> you don't eat the tails. <laughs> Can't see you at all against that orange wall. <laughs> totally disappeared. We're doing a TikTok. Excuse the bike guys that uh, Brian did for the TikTok. Well, he's going to try and open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so you got to that like doughiness and this matcha green tea. I feel like you're in Japan. Yeah. This is the classic, the baby yeah. chocolate. This one is a dark one. The milk chocolate. And the white chocolate. And a white chocolate. Mmm, smell that chocolate. <laughs> Little chocolate fishies. <laughs> but. <laughs> Little bites of happiness. And there's the opening hours, but you can also get them delivered. Here comes a shoal of fishy. Oh, that's. Moved away from the group. He's going to get eaten. <laughs> Of the week. <laughs> and they're so cute, you know. I was wondering what you were on about. <laughs> the Japanese really have the, these uh, these ideas to make things like really cute that you're gonna eat. Yeah, they eat the face off of particularly. Yeah. Oh, very hot, What'd you get? White? Mm. Oh, white chocolate. Oh, proper chocolate as well. Oh, that is good. Oh, hot. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate goes all the way to the tail. These are really, really nice. Surprisingly, not too um, sweet. Not too sweet. Yeah. They're super cool. You got to try these. 
the little fishies are cool. I mean, they really are. And, but it's the vibe. It's the happy it feeling. It is. How can you not be happy? The staff were amazing. Yeah. And the, look at the environment. You're in pink, fluffy cloud tree territory. You get to bite the head of fish. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Right, so if you want to be heat, they give you instructions. Oh, wow. Who knew biting the heads of little fish would be so much fun? Well, anyway, let's head more into Rose Hill. Brand it back. But more importantly, parking. So we've gotten lucky so far in Rose Hill. We've just like driven up to places, parked and eaten. It's awesome. It's been I a like great, <laughs> love it. That's uh, Montmartre, absolutely stunning. We did a whole separate video on this area. Rose Hill Main Street, loads of traffic. Lots of shops. Lots of dirty windscreen. Sorry about that guys. Can't even tell with the Samsung S22. <laughs> oh yeah, parking is paid for now. Yeah. Zone 2 parking. And still no parking available. But up ahead is the hill that gives Rose Hill its name. 35 up to an hour. So we're going here. Yeah, park. Very important piece of information. There's a parking here, right in the heart of Rose Hill. You're going to have to go to my webpage. There'll be a link. I'll put a link below to the webpage where it will show you exactly where to come to this parking. It's a little bit tricky, but you get this parking. And you're going to need to know this. And you're going to need to know it. So go to the website and check it out. We'll put, a, we'll put the, the link below. The major thing in Rose Hill is there's a metro these days. So yeah. there's a metro station and the metro keeps going. So this is the edge of the market. You hear that strange noise. That's the metro going above us. Ah, it's cool. <laughs> It's actually making a, a wreath of flowers. Roses in Rose Hill. Have, have a look at this. He's clipping these, putting holes in them. And I was wondering, why is he doing this? But it's, you put wire on. So you tie the wire on and then it holds the oasis in. Tie that on and then you know what you can do? Make one of these. Oh wow. Brazil has a really really nice like open plan market with everything that you need and it's like it feels like quite an old market. There's even a food section. What is cool about the Rose Hill Market is it's open every day and it has everything you need including some street foods and some meats and of course all the vegetables you need. So they got breads, fried things, noodles, rice. And you're gonna find places to eat all over Rose Hill. This is, the, this is the main crossroads up ahead and that's exactly where Le Concrete Bistro is. Very, very famous burger place. They do incredible burgers. They, 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 they're taking burgers to an insane level. Yeah. You do need to watch where you're walking in the Rose Hill. Drop-offs! Some old things, I'm not even sure what those things are. I think that's one of the things about Rose Hill. You'll find a shop like that that has all sorts of things. So do stop and have a quick look. You also find this old house with a shop in it. Next to a modern one. All sorts of things. Fusion, interactive wear. <laughs> Definitely not at the beach anymore. <laughs> no, it's quite noisy. <laughs> the old train station, and there's an apothecary here. Oh, yes, amazing. <laughs> Brazil is just a little bit odd and super cool to come and just walk around with no agenda whatsoever, just. Just see what you see. And sell loads of stuff here. This guy's selling bread. I have no idea if it's just a piece of fresh bread. Quite interesting. It is. It's like it takes your breath away a bit if you're not used to this this sort of. Um... Uh -huh. And you can't get really lost. There's a beautiful old building because there's um, a mountain. So you got the really big mountain, and then you got the metro. So somewhere you might be able to see one of those and know where you are. Oh, this is 
be like a Chinese place because you've got um, the Gato Coco and the, wow, some chicken things and the, the ginger ones, sesame things. They actually have a pow machine here. So they're steaming their pows straight here. Wow. That is awesome. Brazil definitely has its own vibe to it. I love it. And it's got some arcades and things. It's definitely, it's different from Port Louis, but I can't quite put my finger on it. But it's, it's kind of awesome. Watch out for the pavements, like Ricky said earlier. They just change from good ones to stone ones to concrete ones. And then they just disappear. <laughs> I think this is genuinely a shopping mall. Amazing. Look out. Yeah, look around. It looks like a food court here. Don't even know where the food comes from. Because everything looks like not food shops. <laughs> That's three stories. I'm not aware there's even an island haze. Wow, completely unexpected shopping mall. <laughs> Brazil has been such a friendly place as well. News just then. Apparently yeah, there's a new mall. So we're going to go... I'm not sure what's going on here. But anyway, there's a new mall. So we're going to go check that out. That over there. That's Miss Daisy. You've got to go in yourself. Because at, at the back, they've got the old building that they've, they've preserved from the 1800s. But it seems like this whole Rose Hill thing is a bit of a foodie destination as well. I know we were eating a lot of foods and things, but <laughs> there are so many more. Oh, I think they might still be building the new mall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit early. It's kind of classic because there's places that are really, really busy. And then suddenly you're on the street. And it's walking down the road, nothing. And we're walking in the middle of a beautiful, beautiful flat street. It's a massive mall. It is. Wow. It already is massive, Rick. Oh, man. Okay, so that's the Intermart over there. And there's more stuff down there. Let's check it out. They've got a Ken's. I assume next door will be the Sens. <laughs> oh, cool. Great place for bubble tea. But they also have an outside area. So you can come sit outside with the tables and chairs. They have cakes, you know, like beer taps, but with tea and things. <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> Jeju, this stuff looks pretty cool. Jeju, look at this place, Japanese and Thai. And it's cool, they have a noodle bar as well. Awesome, but it's, it's like Thai, Japanese fusion type place, I think. Looks but amazing, really cool. definitely have to make a plan. But like Rose Hill is really just becoming like the food capital. Uh, yeah, yeah, now scrap everything. You start here because there's parking and toilets. No, no, still started at... at at, at your your dog get your dog breed, and get then your come here. Machines, then come here. Okay, so on oh, this biryani, everything. So anyway, Rose Hill, take two. Anyway, everyone, welcome to Rose Hill. This is yes. Rose Hill, apparently. <laughs> Forget about those streets and the old place, new. It's all new. It's all shiny. It's all absolutely amazing. Get here. It's the place to be seen. <laughs> These are absolutely darling. I wish they had this in adult size. I mean, why can't we walk around like that? It is absolutely cute. <laughs> no shops up here yet. Not all open. Yeah. But it's only been open a month, so. Oh, and there's tons of parking up here on the roof, so you can come up to the roof. And the best views of Cardigore. I think it's called Cardigore. The mountain. What a great view of it. Riding in the left. Oh man, shiny new. <laughs> We're about to have a toilet tour, but have a look at this. Men and women, because there's a woman and a men's. I was I was not expecting this when I came to myself. <laughs> this is Intermart, it's a really big Intermart. Massive. But also along here they've got shops, a face shop, an, an, a Niho shop, which is probably shoes. I feel this is going to be a really popular center because it's got the parking. But it's a bit strange that it's quite far from the metro. It is a bit of a walk to the metro. 
I'd say 15 20 minutes so it's not that close if you do come down a back alley and you should you're gonna find some real historic houses this is an old wooden house right next door to an old stone one awesome something worth noting sorry bye is that uh, it's often cloudy and rainy in this part of the world so yeah. if it's a bad day at your hotel make a trip to the inland because it'll be a bad day here as well there are a lot of discoveries in rose hill and always new things opening it's really cool it's worth a visit there's a bit of weirdness to rose hill where they've got all these one ways and two ways and you're never quite sure which one is which but they have a, a traffic triangle instead of a circle here and diagonal streets <laughs> Tick tock! <laughs> Brad's trying to find our car. I think it's just here. But it's hard to know. If you have a bit of time while wandering around Rose Hill, walk in a direction and get completely lost. But remember to mark where you parked on your phone. Because there's no way to ever get back there. I have no idea where we are. It's okay, bro. I can see the metro up ahead, and we were somewhere near that. Yeah, yeah. So, oh wait, this is good. the bus alighting place. Uh huh. That's why there's all these buses. Yeah. But they actually have the sign that says the bus alighting only. <laughs> I'm claiming I knew it the whole time. We just took a few more steps, and guess where we ended up? Uh huh. Our parking. Do you need to know where this is? We put it because really you do need to know where it is. Go to the website. Original Telephone Exchange Building. <laughs> Complete chaos. Yeah, sorry guys, it was chaos and we missed a couple of old buildings. But lots of lovely old buildings, but there's a whole old section and we'll put a card. Great place to visit Rose Hill and now made even better. It's an arcade. Oh nice. And yeah, we're just on the side of the busy area. You get a little bit more parking here. So, yeah, lots to experience and found somewhere nice for lunch. Yeah, when you see one of these arcades, go inside and have a look because there's so many little things that you're not going to find anywhere else, like on the street, because, well, they have to come into an arcade. Mm -hmm. And this one, we got lucky, there's Shares Fred's snack here. And School Point, if you want to get your school clothes. They have school uniforms. Oh, I had no idea. <laughs> Amazing little discovery. This place has such cool food. Let me show you. Okay, so here's the opening hours. Okay, check this out. Your boiled noodles. Uh, and they've got meat food fried. I've never seen that before. And meat food boiled. Amazing. And boulette. Apparently she makes her own. I'm so looking forward to this. Nice tables and chairs. With the, I'm assuming it's going to be a garlic sauce. What's pretty cool behind the menu is a mezzanine level. I'm just going to go up there. Mind your head. Actually, I'm, I'm not, not really all that tall, apparently. If you're Dutch. If you're Dutch. But how cool is it up here? Now this, I do have to mind my head. Mm. Have a look. <laughs> but it's pretty, it's pretty cool. It feels cozy up here. And of course, you can spy on Ricky. <laughs> oh no, it's awesome. Welcome to the mezzanine level. Come <laughs> <laughs> on. They make their own boulette here, guys. And you can get a boulette salad, which uh -huh, looks like which this. Which is not with the soup. And it comes with the sauce. So I'm going to try the shushu. Of course I am. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, great. Sticky. Tapioca flour and shushu. Yeah. I've never seen the CQ cow. You, that that thing. It looks really fascinating. Ooh, it's a really thin pastry on there. Mm. Even like shrimp and stuff inside or something. I do like the boulette, I said. I particularly like the boulette, I said. And Fred, <laughs> I said. Wow, there's a poem in there somewhere, guys. Extract it yourselves. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that Fred makes good billet. He said. I said. He said. <laughs> anyway. They are absolutely, absolutely fantastic. They really are. It's one ton. These are one ton. Yeah. She, makes, she, she takes a little bit of the chicken and puts it in 
<laughs> and look at what they end up as. How many do you make a day? 400, 500. Wow, four or 500 a day. Oh man. Awesome, we're going to go fry them now. <laughs> Undone. Sometimes. Uh, oh, they puff a little bit. It's a bit like the, those puffer dams. Oh, here we come with the soup. So this is chicken that's been dipped in some flour and some sauces. And into the soup it goes. Oh, and there's mushrooms. In with some greenery. One done. The soup is really boiling away now. Putting some shrimp into the fryer. And then it goes. And in the meantime, the soup is being dished up here. Everything's happening in this kitchen at once. Fred's on the ball here. <laughs> Professional. Oh man, Ricky's gonna get a million photos. Don't worry, it is hot. <laughs> and again, guys, guess where I am? Yep, I'm in Rose Hill eating gourmet food. Mm -hmm. Get yourselves here. I'm gonna go for that consomme. Mm. Oh, wow. Russian soup's amazing. It I think is. it's from the French influence. Mm. Mm. Heavenly. Try a bit of the one ton. Mm. It's Inside. crispy, and then in the soup, it gets more like a. Um, the dumpling, I suppose. Oh, it's got a lovely flavour. <laughs> really? Wow. Oh, I haven't seen you that excited for food like in years. Mm. Mm. Mouthful of <laughs> It's amazing. Look, the your dishes. So what they do is they chuck in the veggies, some carrots, some cabbage, some tom thumb, stir it all up, and then they add the... Rice noodle! And you're adding some fish sauce, soy sauce, and then a the very important little bit of wine. Chuck the beef in, toss it up onto the plate, egg on top, and done. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Serve with jelly. <laughs> what a great team. <laughs> this should have been Ricky's, but <laughs> it just looked so good. I ate so much of that mm. delicious soup. Oh wow. Mmm. Oh that's good beef. But yeah. it's the noodle. It's small so it soaks up all the juices. Mm. <laughs> Fred is a master chef. Oh. Everything we've had here has been really good. Oh wow, Rose Hill. A foodie day out. Well anyway everyone, thanks for watching. See you again next time.